figured it out. engaged with that bull initially last night. The sun is just starting to peak up over the ridges. It's a cold night, but we're staying plenty warm hiking up the mountain. No bugles yet, but we don't really expect them until we get up here. It's a good day to kill an elk. say we got lucky last night um, you could say our hard work paid off either way I do believe the harder you work the luckier you get and uh, we got rewarded with some pretty immediate action last night which I'm thankful for um, but we we hoped they'd be I mean we've been up two different drainages so far this morning we haven't seen an elk we haven't heard an elk already quite a ways from camp and uh, we haven't seen anything so I'm at that point where like I don't I don't like to waste time if it doesn't seem like the elk are here right now it's obviously a place they like to be and they'll come back at some point or new elk will come in or do we do the old one night stay <laughs> Pop on out. <laughs> That's our default strategy. Pack in for four, leave after one. It's a way to waste a lot of energy, time. So yeah, I think we'll sit down for a minute here and figure out our plan. I wanted them to be right here. And I wanted them to be pissed, come up to 30 yards, broadside, capture the footy, make a sweet vid, and head to Colorado. Give me an hour or two. 
figured it out. It's dry, exposed, and hot. Over here, and over here, and we came from over here. So we're gonna go down here, and then up there. something to pipe off. If not, I'm pretty sure we're gonna pack up camp, hunt our way down the canyon. It's been dead quiet today. I'm not one to stick around if I don't think there are elk around. When we're cruising along, we stopped a few times to talk about how cool this area is. It's so benchy. There's a lot of timber, but I've never been in an area with more trees that was easier to get around. There's the trails everywhere, tracks and sign of different ages. Like my excitement was building and we were coming down out of the timber and I started seeing boot tracks. So I'm like, well, could have been somebody in here last week, a few days ago, no big deal. Like 50 yards later, I see a tent and start picking out a couple of guys. So that's a bummer kind of lines a few things up for us. That's pretty much the confirmation we needed to bounce out of here. If we get into elk on the way, great. And if we don't, getting out of here in time to glass some other areas will be key. for less than two hours. You know, just waiting to hear the bugles. <laughs> we go up see these guys up here. We're walking back, looking at the area where we hiked up the other side, and I see something weird down in the trees. It's a freaking wall tent. We walked through this, uh, like, abandoned camp. I mean, it looked like maybe a cowboy camp, you know, coming up here, uh, but I swear to you, there is now a wall tent down there, set up. How we didn't cross paths with these folks, I don't know. I mean, on the, on the bright side, if you want to be an optimist, like, that was enough. This just makes it like, wow, how fast can we get out of here? Empty, uh, empty pack mules. I bet it's a drop camp, outfitter drop camp. Real quick, camp is packed, we're gonna hit the trail. We are completely loaded in less than 40 minutes. Why am I talking so loud? Because I don't give a fuck. Hiking out, we're not too far from the trailhead now. And we just kind of came around a bend and had a pretty good view of an area we've thought about going to. Started glassing, about three minutes into it, I spotted a small group of elk. They're a ways away. I don't think we can make a play on them now. We have 50 minutes exactly of mm -hmm. shooting light. We can't get to them today. I think we'll mark them, figure out if we want to go up there in the morning. It's nice seeing elk. I was, uh, Getting worried we were going to go a full day without seeing or hearing an elk. That saved it. Otherwise, there would have been a lot of whining tonight. <laughs> All right, made it back to the Razor. That's pretty obvious. Yeah, we made it back uh, five minutes too late to actually be able to see those elk on the hill. It's just too dark. 
tried to get the spotter on him, see if there's a bull, but couldn't see him. So we'll have to figure out what our assumptions are and what we're gonna do about that. But we are going to head back to camp, cook some good food, maybe have a beer and uh, enjoy the evening. Hell yeah.